A surge of Arctic air brought the coldest temperatures of the year to the Gulf Coast. Early morning temperatures in the teens and the 20s have prompted a wind chill advisory. Some spots have wind chill in the single digits this well, morning. Chad Petrie is traveling the roadways this morning. He joins us live to tell us what he's found so far. Good morning, Chad. Good morning, Bill. Good morning, Jessica. Yeah, I'm standing in Grove Hill in Clark County. Really wasn't until Jackson until I started to see any sort of visible snowfall. And when I say visible snowfall, this is very, very, very small, very faint, just some flurries. I'm going to step aside here and just show you that, yeah, even though it's only flurries, we've started to see just a little bit of uh, accumulation on this, uh, some of the areas here. I want to show you some video from earlier this morning as well. Uh, it's cold. It is very cold, but in Mobile, Baldwin, that's where I started this morning. Then I started traveling northward through Mobile County, up through Washington County, and now ended up in Clark County. Again, nothing in terms of accumulation or winter precipitation that would give you any sort of problems on the major roadways. The only area where I'm seeing any sort of winter effects are in uh, Clark County. Again, a little bit in Jackson, more so here in Grove Hill, but again, we're just dealing with flurries. Accumulation is really not even happening on roadways. It's just on some sidewalks, some grass, maybe some cars that are parked out here. But other than that, nothing that is treacherous at this time. Reporting live in Grove Hill, Chad Petrie, WKRG News 5. Thanks, Chad. Well, one good tell 